You can see the panic in his eyes. They purposely harmed my father. This 54 year old man had no idea what was about to happen to him in police custody. I take rejection message for my heart transplant. He was arrested after having a verbal disagreement with a neighbor. All he wanted was for somebody to get his heart transplant medication. It's gonna be a problem. It was a serious problem. Records show they never got him his heart medication. He died days later. Why his family says this all could have been avoided if somebody just listened to him. I'm Justin Carter. This is TSR Investigates. Fifty-four-year-old Dexter Barry was a medical miracle. He was diagnosed with congestive heart failure back in 2007. And after years of waiting, he finally got a heart transplant in 2020. But to survive, he needed to be on a series of very expensive medications to ensure that his body did not reject his new heart. It cost about $2,400 a bottle. He took about three pills a day and was doing very well. He was healthy. But after he got arrested late last year after a neighbor dispute, he begged police to ensure that he'd have his medications. But that never happened. It was the Friday before Thanksgiving, November 18th, 2022. Dexter Berry seen here in the back of a police cruiser. He told a sheriff's deputy in Jacksonville, Florida, that he was fed up with his neighbor who had his Wi-Fi password, but stopped splitting the bill. He said, Oh, I've been off your Wi-Fi. It says in this police report that Barry told his neighbor, quote, I'll beat your expletive and knock you out your chair. Don't make me F you up. Now, Barry did admit that he cursed at his neighbor, but never physically touched him. In fact, he left after the argument and ran some errands. I didn't put my hands no, on. So, so you're confusing assault for battery. Battery is physical contact. Assault is a threat by words to cause harm, causing fear. He a grown man, I'm a grown man, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like I try to cost him. As the deputy started to write his report, Barry started to worry. I take rejection message for my heart transplant. Okay. I can't miss no doses. He explained to the officer that he was a heart transplant patient and needed his heart rejection medication. I just told you I gotta take my medicine. Well, yeah, I mean, but the jails can get you medication. My medicine costs two thousand dollars, bro. We counted. Over the course of 20 minutes, Barry inquired about his medication at least 10 times. I had to come from Virginia to get the transplant. No, no joke, no. Again. I don't, I don't want to go to jail because you taking me to jail and me missing my medicine, risking me. So listen, man. Heart look. Rejected. The deputy said he understood, but at times you can hear he didn't seem overly concerned. I'm going to ask you a question, bro. Yeah, I, bro, no. Um, any of your disabilities, are they like, they're documented legitimate disabilities? Yes, sir. They're not like, I'm not saying that your condition's not legitimate, but like, they're classified as disabilities. You get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Okay. He even told the deputy that he was a Mayo Clinic patient and moved to Jacksonville from Virginia just for his heart procedure. My, my surgery cost me $4 million. Listen, I, man, I, I, I had a heart pump first and okay. I had a transplant. The deputy then calls his supervisor. So he's telling me that he had a heart transplant. He's got heart pumps and he takes this medication three times a day for his heart rejection. It wasn't enough. Because you guys live so close to each other, man, it just like. But I'm saying that I go to my girlfriend house. I don't got bro, to go I, home. I, I get what you're saying, but at the same time, you know how many times, like, just police in general have been told that? And then the next thing that happens is somebody ends up dead. Barry was taken to jail, still no medication. Court records show that he went before a judge on simple assault charges the next day and even mentioned to the judge, quote, I'm on medication, I just had a heart transplant, and I haven't took my medicine all day since I've been locked up, and I take rejection medicines for my heart, so my heart won't reject it, end quote. The judge responds, quote, they haven't been able to contact the victim in this case. I'm going to simply set a bond in your case of $503 and add the additional condition of no violent victim contact. So when he called me, he was like, yo, I just got out of jail. I'm like, what? 
You just got out of jail. This is his son, Dexter Barry Jr., who found out about his dad's arrest two days later when he was released. He says that his dad never called him because he didn't have his phone number memorized. If my dad would have known my number and he would have called me, like, I would have drove from Orlando to Jacksonville to go get my father that same night, like, because I already know that medication. He says his dad didn't sound like himself over the phone. He missed at least five doses of his medication. His instincts were right. His father, Dexter Berry Sr., died two days after their phone call. According to the tributary news who broke the story, the county medical examiner declined to perform an autopsy, so the Barry family hired a pathologist and ordered their own autopsy. It concluded that Barry's body rejected his heart, but the pathologist further wrote, quote, as a general pathologist, I do not feel qualified to give a professional opinion as to the effect of discontinuation of the anti-immune therapy to this patient for two to three days. We gonna go to war behind our dad. This is Barry's daughter, Janelle King. To know that he had a heart issue and to keep him in jail without his meds, you could have gave him a summons to come back to court, have a court date. You could have gave him a warning. But to take him to jail after he told you seven times in the car, you know, I need to have my meds. I can't go without my meds, et cetera, et cetera. None of that should have never happened. She says she hired an attorney months ago who's been fighting to get her father's jail medical records. She says it wasn't released until the news media got involved. They refused to give him any medical documents up until this morning. This is the medicine log from medical staff at the Duval County Jail. They called the Walmart pharmacy the day he was booked into jail, but it wasn't for heart medication. They were common drugs for his blood pressure, cholesterol, and prostate. Do you feel like it was because the medication, the heart medication was so expensive? Yes, we all we all think that. Yeah. Dad constantly went to checkups and, yeah. you know, got things biopsied and all that. His heart was completely healthy. Experts say if anti-rejection medications are stopped, rejection can happen very quickly and can cause permanent heart decline and even death. Now, I reached out to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office for a comment. They can't comment about this case pending an internal review, but the Barry family says that they are right now ready and preparing for a lawsuit to get justice for their father. For TSR Investigates, I'm Justin Carter. Hello roommates and thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Do you want more TSR Investigates? Be sure to subscribe and check us out at theshaderoom.com.